Hey everyone, Iron Toast here. Now, something a little different for my channel today. I wanted to talk about the Marvel hero Red Guardian. He is a character coming to the MCU in the Black Widow movie, played by David Harbour. And even though the movie missed its original release date, several Marvel video games already had Red Guardian slated to be added to their lineups, including Marvel Contest of Champions and Marvel Future Fight. Uh, the games I've seen don't do the character justice for the bio, so if you're like me, you're stuck wondering a little, who is this guy? So let's take a little more detailed look. Spoiler alert, in case anything revealed in this bio ends up in the Black Widow movie. Uh, Red Guardian goes all the way back to the 1960s, originally showing up as a super villain. Um, I suppose that's a little subjective. He's been described as the Russian equivalent to Captain America. Uh, and he's also part of the Winter Guard, which is like the Russian equivalent to the Avengers. Uh, Red Guardian is a hero in his own right, so instead of super villain, maybe it's more appropriate to call him a super rival. Now, if you do recall Red Guardian from some comic version you've read somewhere along the way, uh, but not quite the MCU version, it's no surprise. The Red Guardian is somewhat of a mantle. It's passed from person to person. It's been donned by Alexei Lebedev, Alexei Shostakov, Dr. Tanya Belinsky, Josef Petkus, Krasno Gratinsky, Anton, who's actually just a life model decoy, and Nikolai Krylenko, um, as well as some other more obscure ones here and there. The one we get, or appear to be getting in the MCU, is the um, Alexei Shostakov version, the second one. Um, in case it isn't obvious, he is Russian. He was a very skilled World War II pilot and excellent at hand-to-hand -hand combat. He was also married to Natasha Romanoff, our Black Widow. Um, that, of course, ended when the Russian government decided to have Shostakov fake his death and become the Red Guardian. Fast forward quite a few years, Red Guardian is on a mission in China and runs into the Black Widow and Captain America, who he now has a personal issue with fighting against. After revealing himself, his identity, and basically his moral conflict to them, he is then shot by his Chinese ally while saving Natasha and Steve, uh, and then ultimately buried in lava, resulting in his actual death. So sad. Uh, later, the life model decoy of Shostakov goes on to become one version of Ronin, but that's something for a whole other day. As far as the Red Guardian goes, objectively, his costume is very similar to Captain America, but with the red Russian flair, similar star on the chest, star on the round shield, and in the movies, a very similar helmet mask hybrid, which is pretty cool, really gives that believable look to the character in, in live action. In the comics, he often had this metal fin on his head. Um, in the movie, it looks more kind of like just a metal bracket, which still makes for a wicked headbutt. Uh, also, notably, he has no actual superpowers, but he has exceptional strength and endurance, probably due to his intense KGB training. Like Black Widow, he is skilled in combat with basically anything that can be swung, thrown, or shot. And similar to Captain America, Red Guardian tends to have a singular and unwavering dedication to the prosperity of his own country. So that is hopefully a more in-depth but still quick look into the Red Guardian character. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Do like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let me know if you'd like to see more stuff like this in the future. That really helps me kind of guide my channel. So I will catch you guys next time. Bye.